Good day to Lucky Nation and welcome to this beautiful Friday. All right guys, welcome to another episode of what's happening in my life basically. Today we are Friday, June the 16th. I'm working today, but I decided to make a special edition vlog where I'm gonna share some, some knowledge with you basically about a subject that's really close to my heart. But before we do all of that, we need to start off the day by going to the gym. So that's where I'm heading right now. That's why I got all my gym clothes on me. I got my little headband. And then we're gonna go home and get ready because I have a meeting with a vegan pizza place in Vancouver to pitch them an idea about doing a collaboration together. And if this works, it would be a really exciting video and a really exciting project to work on. And then after that, I'll drop a little bit of knowledge on you guys on, when I mean something that's close to my heart is obviously plant-based, it's veganism, and but it's not about the food, it's about the other aspect of veganism, not animal cruelty, just, just stay tuned till the end of the video to check it out. But let's start off this beautiful day by going to the gym, and guys, I will see you once you get in there. Alright guys, a lot of people ask me why I live in Vancouver because it's so expensive. Honestly, just because of this view. Obviously, there's other things that make me stay here like my girlfriend, all the amazing friends I've made, all the cool opportunities that are showing up because I'm living here, the fact that I can go hike within 45 minutes, but that's a big aspect how beautiful it is here. Alright guys, just head off to the gym. I'll see you guys when we're inside. Alright guys, we made it to the gym and let's get this workout started. Alright guys, we just finished working out. That was an amazing workout. Mainly did some body weight exercise because my gym membership expires at the end of the month and I don't want to get another one. So I'm basically gonna work out from home and at the park. I thought I would get my body used to doing body weight exercise. But for now, I'm gonna go to the grocery store, grab some bananas for my smoothies and then might stop at the protein store to get a smoothie there while I walk home because yesterday I did not eat enough and I feel weaker today. So I'm trying to get as many calories in me as I can. So I'll see you guys uh, where will we go next. Oh. Alright guys, I am going to stop and grab the smoothies because the bananas aren't ripe. I know for everybody else, those bananas are ready, but if there's no brown spots on them, there's no way that I'm going to eat them. True vegans know when to eat bananas. So guys, I'm going to head to the protein shop and I'll see you guys in there. Alright guys, you know what I just realized? How, how fitness is big in Vancouver. Maybe it's because I'm in the industry and I see a lot of people working out, but as soon as it's sunny, the seawall is packed with runners and people riding their bike. So a cool thing, when I moved to Vancouver, it kind of motivated me to start working out more. Since everybody was doing it, it was kind of easier to jump into it. As you can see, there's like people running behind me and stuff. Um, Alright guys, right now I'm going to get ready and we're going to go to that meeting. Alright guys, I am off to my meeting with Virtuous Pie. And the reason why I'm sharing this with you, because they might say no to their collaboration, is you will never know if you don't ask. And that's why I'm putting it in the vlog because they might say no to their collaboration, but I will never know if I don't try. Because one of my goals is to become a plant-based and fitness influencer in Vancouver. And I can't do that if I don't connect with other like-minded people. And the only way to connect is to ask and to reach out to them. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm reaching out to Richard's Pie to pitch my idea for a collaboration that would be out on YouTube and on Instagram and Facebook. Hopefully they say yes. If not, that's fine. So guys, all I want to say from this little clip is reach out for what you want. You don't know if you don't ask. That's one thing that I learned when I was hitchhiking and traveling. You have to ask for what you want because people can't read your mind and they won't come up to you and give it to you. So work hard to ask for what you want and go and get it. So I'll see you guys when I get to the meeting. All right guys, we just finished the meeting and it went amazingly well. Like I said guys in the previous clip, you don't know if you don't ask and the answer was a big yes. 
I'm super pumped about this collaboration. But guys, I'm so excited to share with you guys how Virtuous Pie like, like, makes their pizza so you guys can make some at home. The knowledge on the company, like why they started the company. I love their mission, which is to help people transition to a plant-based diet with good, tasty food that's cheap. So I really love that mission because that's all I stand for. If you don't ask, you will never know. Be, be bold, ask for what you want in life and work for it. So right now guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to Best Buy because my earphones are broken. Every time I talk to somebody on the phone, it hangs up by itself. So I'm gonna go get some Bluetooth one because I am a big hater of wires. I hate cables that get stuck in your arms when you're working out. So let's go to Best Buy and I'll see you guys when we're in there. All right guys, I just came back from Best Buy, just playing with the headset to see how it works. I'm so happy to finally get some, some Bluetooth headset because I hate wires and mine were just broken at this point. So right now I'm just gonna film the last scene of this vlog. I'm gonna share why it's important for everybody to use good skincare and why guys should use skincare. So stay tuned for the next clip. All right guys, welcome to this segment of skincare. Wait, before you stop the video or you jump to something else, this is an important message that I want you to hear, especially for the men out there. I wanna say this before we start, it doesn't make you feminine to take care of your skin. It actually makes you manlier because you take care of yourself and I don't know, you'll live longer, you'll feel better, you'll look better, so why is it less manly to, to use skincare? Because that's a comment that I get all the time, like oh, I don't use cream, I don't use moisturizer, I don't use cleanser, I don't use nothing of that stuff. Well bro, you're gonna age super quickly, especially if you're not eating properly, you're not gonna end up looking good when you're 50, right? And then that's the goal. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna look like this when I'm 50, 60. So today guys, why I'm making this segment right now is because a lot of things are happening in my life related to plant-based, related to health, related to fitness. And we talk a lot about what goes into our body, but we never talk about what goes onto our body. I don't know if you guys know this, but your skin is the biggest organ in your whole body. So whatever you put on it gets absorbed in your body, gets absorbed into your bloodstream. If you have toxins in your in your products, basically then you're gonna have toxins in your body that can cause disease. It causes you to get sick, it causes you to not perform as much as work, not perform as much in whatever sport you're doing in your workout. So that's why it's important to make sure that you use products that are toxin free. And that's why you have to do some research on what you're using. I haven't done like research on every single product. So I just wanted to share with you guys what I'm using in my routine right now. And like, I still have some, some research to do about every single product. I dug them up yesterday about every single one and they're all cruelty free. They're all organic at the same time. But I feel like there's more research that I could do to make sure that they're absolute best for me. So the first one, for every guy out there, and women, you all know your skincare product, but for every guy out there, you should at least have a cleanser and a moisturizer. And if you work construction like I was before, I like to add a toner into that because it just gets rid of the extra residue that gets stuck into your skin. So for my cleanser, I use this product, Ursa Major. Well, Again, this is not paid advertisement. This is just what I'm using right now. Ursa Major is a great face cleanser. It's not too hard because I have sensitive skin and it's cruelty free, it's organic. And I'll just put the links to <clears throat> all the products in the description. I don't wanna go through every single one of them. And then I have Men's Science for my face toner. Basically, I bought this because I was working construction in a dusty environment, so I was sweating. So when you sweat, your pores open, and if you're in a dirty environment, well, all the dust will go into your open pores, and then when you get cold, they close up, so you have all that dust and that toxin stuck in your skin. So that helps to take that out, take the dust out, basically. And I always like to finish it off with a moisturizer, which I'm using the this one right here, Bulldog Moisturizer. Again, cruelty-free, organic, plant-based product, because nobody wants to have dry skin. I hate having dry skin when I, when I get started with my day, I hate going out and like your eyes are so tight and your face is tight because it's dry so just put moisturizer it helps it helps maintain your skin it helps prevent wrinkles it helps for a ton of things honestly it just makes your skin look a lot better it makes your skin feel a lot better too so that's pretty simple that's what I do every single morning I do those three products I wash it I tone it and then I put a moisturizer and what I do when I come back at night obviously you went through all your day you either worked out, you went to work, you're stuck in, a, in an environment where, I don't know, if you work inside in a building, the air, there's not necessarily like a good aeration system. So your, your skin just gets oily and there's a lot of dust and, and crap in it. So I like to use a cleanser again when I go, when I come back home before bed. And then I like to add some oil. So right now I'm using Way of Will. So they have frankincense oil and bor borage. I believe uh, it's really good for skin regeneration and essential oils have been known to have many benefits for your body. And I like the little concept too, like they put numbers on top of every product so you know which one it is. So like I know that my deodorant's a number two, I know my oil's a number 10. And I have other products in the bathroom that it's just, I just look at the number because I know what number is what. So 
really cool concept from Wheel of Will. So the Arden, paraben free, just make sure there's no aluminum, there's nothing in it because like under your armpits is an easy way into your body because the skin is really thin. So whatever you put on there goes into your body and there's a lot of crap and this has happened to me and people that I know. If you just use like normal deodorant that's like not organic, there's toxins in it, like you start having bumps under your forearm. And I know many people have experienced that because they've shared it with me before. So since I changed to a natural deodorant, it made the whole difference. I don't have bumps anymore. And honestly, this is like a mouthwash for your armpits. Pretty cool. And last but not least, my hair paste, which makes my hair look like that because I wake up like that every single morning. Hans de Fuco, uh, cruelty free, again, organic plant-based product. My buddy recommended to me actually at the uh, mask in, in Yelltown in Vancouver. That's pretty much where I got all my products actually. This is the man that I go to when I need plant-based products because I know the owners of plant-based and they're really careful about the products that they bring into the store. Actually, if you're in Vancouver, if you're visiting Vancouver, go and check them out if you're looking for plant-based products. They're really cool and they have it at heart to make sure to use plant-based product and organic product. So that's what makes my hair look pretty cool. It's like sand, basically. I don't know if you guys have ever done that. I've done that in modeling, but baby powder in your hair, when you have thin hair, it makes it puffier, it makes it thicker. So like it holds your hair in the same spot. I have straight hair and thin hair. So my hair just like flops everywhere when it dries out and it's really thin. So it squishes on my head. This guy gives it texture and gives it volume like as you can see I gain a couple few inches on my hair I know guys don't talk about this stuff but I don't care I like how my hair looks and I like to look good so I have to be sure that I take care of myself so guys I, I hope it kind of guided you as to like what to use when to use it and why you should use natural products honestly it's not like make your research on what company works for you and what product works for you but be sure there's no toxins in it because honestly whatever you're putting onto your skin is as important as what you put into your body and that's a subject that we don't talk often enough your body deserves the best, you deserve the best, and honestly, it's not too extreme to just to watch out for what you're putting into your body and what you're eating because once you get sick, the fact that you could have used natural products, the fact that you could have bought organic food seems so little. Why get sick when you can prevent it from the start? So don't wait to be sick to change your products and change how you're eating. And that's why I'm recommending and living a plant-based lifestyle because it made a huge difference in my life and some people that in my life that are sick, it made a huge difference in their life as well. So guys, I wanna say thank you. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope this connected with you. I hope this inspired you to go and work out, to live a healthier life and to, and to just be bold, to ask for what you want in life. Because if you don't ask, you'll never know what the answer will be. So guys, thank you for watching this vlog sorry if it's short and it's different today because i'm working for the next nine hours i have to leave in 30 minutes so guys enjoy your weekend and i will see you on wednesday peace <laughs>